um, uh, over to you. I am going to unmute. So thank you, uh, Leon, for this nice introduction and welcome indeed, everybody. So today, um, well, we have our um, our colleagues from Vietnam going to uh, present and share their, uh, their works with us. Um, they will present their improved motivation and ability, their MOTA framework for agricultural transformation and innovation in the Vietnamese Mekong Delta. Um, I have understood that Kuhn is currently uh, in Paris uh, on a train, but he is um, working on this together with his colleagues uh, Luan Tu, Bing and Bing. Um, I would propose that, uh, well, one of them takes the stage. I, do not know who is going to take the lead for this presentation now. Um, and if they have uh, presentation sharing abilities to share their screen. I'm looking now at uh, Leon on the other side. I probably need to do it. Um, yeah, uh, thank you, Yap. Uh, I'm Lung and uh, I will take uh, the lead in uh, the presentation. Uh, can I share my screen now? Yes, you can if you have that ability. Then, of course, um, if participants have questions for Loon, um, I would uh, propose that we wait until he finished his presentation. And then um, by raising hands uh, via, the, uh, via the Zoom tool, we can uh, give people words accordingly. Or you could share a question maybe in the chat box. With that said, Lun? Yeah, yeah, uh, can, you. Uh, can, can you see uh, my screen now? Yes, we can. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, can I start? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for uh, joining uh, our webinar. So, uh, this uh, case is um, uh, a briefing of our work on uh, improving. The um, a tool to um, analyze uh, agricultural transformation in which uh, we try to, uh, to, to make it fit uh, uh, to the um, um, complex uh, social system. Uh, so um, our work starts uh, with uh, the, uh, a very classic uh, paradigm, which is uh, the diffusion innovation in which uh, agricultural transformation understood as a, a linear process starting from uh, innovation itself. And then uh, you, we have some early adopter. Uh, and when the, uh, when the adopter, uh, adopter reach uh, a critical mass by uh, the, the work of uh, extension service, uh, and then the, the, the innovation will take off and uh, we have a uh, transformation on uh, a large scale. So what uh, embed uh, in uh, this uh, paradigm is uh, a linear way to understand about transformation. And uh, it's best uh, described by uh, the S curve here. You see uh, at uh, the bottom left of uh, the screen, uh, so uh, the transformation start by the innovation and then uh, when uh, after uh, early adoption reach uh, critical mass and then uh, you, you have uh, uh, a mass ad adoption of uh, the innovation. Um, so uh, the paradigm is uh, very successful in, uh, in uh, uh, some historic uh, case and uh, but uh, it also receives some uh, critics because, uh, uh, like uh, uh, the critics, that uh, it uh, to uh, uh, it promotes uh, the individualism in uh, transformation. Uh, even though uh, you know, you see, uh, the, in uh, the um, the compartment, uh, the, the the main elements of uh, diffusion innovation, uh, you see the, the social system and so the communication channel, uh, but uh, it's still very uh, individualism and um, like it looked uh, of a transformation system as uh, each uh, um, compartment with uh, its own role and um, uh, it missed the, the, the 
how the, the complex uh, how how complex uh, the, the system is uh, and uh, for that uh, it usually uh, miss uh, uh, to uh, comprehend uh, the, um, the the context of uh, the, the, the the transformation uh, next uh, we see the agricultural treadmill uh, we see that uh, this is a derivative of uh, uh, the diffusion of innovation. So uh, they are sim uh, similar in that uh, they promote uh, the idea of indi individual individualism in uh, uh, agricultural uh, transformation. So if you own uh, the treadmill, uh, there are one uh, single rule that uh, you you have to follow that uh, is that uh, you, you better run with uh, it by if your run is slower or you 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 stop, then you will drop out of the treadmill. And uh, this uh, uh, so uh, uh, this fit very well to uh, the, the, the agricultural transformation uh, in, uh, um, in 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 the West uh, country, like uh, when uh, farmer they incapable farmer they. Uh, they fail to to catch up uh, with the uh, innovation, and uh, uh, they, uh, they they be, they become less uh, uh, efficient. And they will drop out of uh, the sector, and later they will join uh, the the industry or the service sector. Uh, this uh, happened uh, in the history of uh, the, the West country, like America or uh, European country. So. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the the treadmill uh, promote uh, the idea of uh, efficiency in uh, agricultural sector, like uh, 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 so. For example, uh, you have one parcel of land, uh, you, you want to get the best out of uh, it, or uh, if you fail to do so, uh, you will uh, drop out of the the the, the, the business, agricultural business, and you give land to. Uh, Another couple, uh, the other capable uh, farmers, and uh, those uh, capable farmers, uh, they can uh, innovate. Uh, they can uh, join the market, and they will take up land and become a uh, large farmer. And uh, you see uh, the result of uh, the treadmill in uh, the West uh, country now. Like uh, you got a very uh, large farmer with a very large land a vast land landscape of a large land unlike in developing uh, uh country you see a uh, very small land very uh, heterogeneous uh, landscape with a uh, small owner um so that's uh, the story of uh, the, the threat new in uh, developed uh, society but uh, does uh, it hone in uh, uh, developing uh, society like uh, in Vietnam or African country uh, featured by a uh, vast majority of uh, small owner. Uh, we are uh, so you see in, in the first uh, photo uh, that uh, is not relevant to uh, the uh, agricultural uh, sector, but uh, uh, we think this. Uh, very relevant. This is a, a photo of a migrant. Uh, so uh, in every uh, hot set holiday, you know, the, the year end, uh, the, the year end holiday, they 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 travel back home from uh, the, the urban area. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> we uh, we did try that, uh, uh, to, uh, and. Uh, uh, there's a, a, a liquid uh, effect of uh, the school of uh, optimal management uh, in uh, agriculture, uh, agricultural sector. Uh, optimal, optimal management target uh, efficiency, like uh, you, you want to drop out, you want an uh, in, uh, incapable farmer or weak farmer to drop out of the, the business. Uh, so, so, uh, so that a capable uh, farmer can, uh, can check up the land and uh, and gain more on uh, the, the, the tech up uh, back sale of land. Um, but there's a, a, a liquid uh, effect, like uh, 
uh, for in uh, in this uh, for from this school of uh, optimal management uh, that that uh, liquid effect effect uh, has impact on uh, uh, another system like uh, the urban system now you have uh, in uh, like in uh, in Ho Vietnam or you know Ho Chi Minh City uh, people from uh, nearby uh, rural area when they are uh, Previously, uh, land base uh, who who live uh, on the land base uh, live livelihood uh, when uh, they, they they can uh, do uh, uh, agricultural uh, uh, activity anymore, and they uh, they, they, they they will uh, migrate to, to the city to search uh, to do some uh, um, uh, precarious uh, livelihood, and uh, it's also of course uh, uh, a threat to the security of the urban area, which is. Uh, the cities where infrastructure is not uh, capable enough of uh, to cope with the, 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 the wave of uh, uh, immigrants. Um, so uh, just uh, understand more about that. And I think uh, this, uh, uh, this is pop very popular in any developing uh, society. And uh, it's Western, it raises a question about uh, the um, uh, is uh, the dominant nar narrative in uh, agricultural transformation target uh, efficiency? Does it hold uh, or does this uh, dominant uh, narrative hold uh, everywhere? Uh, and uh, can we ask, uh, um, is there any other narrative that uh, fits better to uh, develop in society? Uh, and uh, we we raise a uh, concern about uh, the two uh, narrative uh, that uh, we 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 don't uh, like uh, deny the, the uh, higher efficiency in the agricultural sector, but uh, we want to ask if uh, there's uh, another narrative that uh, target uh, the uh, enabling condition like the institution or the infrastructure that supports smallholder in uh, uh, enable smallholder so that they they're more capable of uh, doing what they are doing so that they don't have to migrate uh, to the other to, to, to the open area uh, and uh, also the, the normality concern that's uh, totally missed from uh, the higher efficiency narrative uh, you know uh, in higher efficiency narrative uh, which uh, promotes uh, the role of uh, the role of indiv indiv individualism they uh, it consider farmers as entrepreneur and as uh, entrepreneur they have to uh, innovate uh, and so they have to uh, uh, maintain to to survive. So they're concerned about uh, uh, the environment or uh, the the, uh, extra, the social cost of uh, farming activities. Uh, uh, it's not uh, that they're not fit into uh, the, the entrepreneur model. Uh, and uh, these two, uh, mm, the, the concern about the enabling condition and the concern about the normative uh, aspect of uh, transformation is uh, are the two entry points uh, for us uh, to navigate uh, our, um, our our later research. Um, so uh, this is uh, uh, how how we can uh, integrate uh, these uh, two entry into uh, the the Mota framework. So uh, um, so normally, uh, Quang ha has to introduce uh, the Mota framework uh, for you, but uh, he's uh, like uh, busy now. So I will uh, very briefly introduce uh, the, the the Mota framework. It's uh, a framework uh, to uh, to analyze the farmer such in case of uh, agricultural research, uh, it analyze is how uh, researcher to analyze uh, the adaptability uh, uh, of uh, innovation. So uh, adaptability uh, is uh, um, include um, like a many dimension like uh, the uh, include the two main dimension uh, motivation and ability like uh, motivation like uh, they uh, do do farmer thing that uh, 
by adopting uh, this uh, technology, they can improve their profit. Uh, uh, does it uh, fit uh, the um, the hydrological condition in uh, their the farming area Ab ability? Uh, like, um, uh, are they uh, technically uh, capable of uh, uh, adopting uh, such uh, technology? Uh, are they uh, uh, financially uh, capable? Uh, so that's uh, about the, the, the MOTA framework. Uh, our experience with adopting the MOTA framework in uh, in uh, agricultural research uh, uh, so that uh, there are some setback uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the way we, uh, we use it uh, to, uh, to understand uh, farmer behavior like uh, Firstly, uh, we only use it uh, with a focus on farmer as uh, the main agent of uh, transformation. But uh, uh, we, we think that we, uh, uh, a, a so agricultural social system uh, include many uh, actors and uh, uh, they, they have uh, influence on uh, the, the transformation system and not only uh, farmer uh, another aspect of the MOTA framework that uh, is uh, based on uh, presumption about uh, rational behavior of farmers. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, like uh, the, the, the adoptability of farmer is very much controlled by the motivation and ability, and uh, they they based on uh, the, 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 the assumption that a farmer uh, has a uh, ability to to make a rational choice like uh, when they hear about the solution or the technology they they, they can uh, balance uh, the trade off um, uh, uh, and when uh, they, they, they they adopt uh, the solution uh, they uh, and uh, and then they can choose uh, the option that uh, maximize their benefit but uh, our experience with uh, a interview with a farmer so that uh, the rational choice uh, is not always uh, um, uh, valid in, all, uh, in, in every case. Uh, we did see that uh, uh, farmers uh, and uh, uh, is very much, sometimes they're very much uh, um, like uh, they, they, they the decision is not always uh, rational. They are uh, sometimes they very uh, affect by uh, cultural bias. And later, uh, when uh, if we have time, we, I, I can give you some uh, example of this uh, cultural bias uh, in, uh, um, in 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 the farmer when uh, in in case of uh, Vietnamese may come later. Cultural bias like uh, they. Um, uh, they more um, their decision is more influenced by the rule uh, of uh, the system they they live in, uh, and uh, it's not about uh, individual uh, um, rational choice anymore. Uh, so uh, also uh, the more time missed uh, some uh, or sometimes uh, miss the the, uh, the context analysis. Uh, so uh, uh, we. Uh, like uh, it means uh, to see the the, the 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 agricultural system in uh, in a systemic way. Uh, previously, uh, um, we see that uh, the, the MOTA uh, promote the idea of uh, you know analyze uh, the system uh, in uh, like uh, uh, analyze each of its compartment like the decision maker, farmers. Uh, uh, Trader and so on, but uh, it's only uh, they, they look at uh, each um, actor in uh, uh, like a uh, uh, systematic way, like uh, uh, like when it doesn't look uh, and it missed the complexity of uh, of the system uh, and uh, to explore uh, to understand the complexity of the system, we um, recommend that uh, the the. Uh, a, a, a systemic, systemic understanding 
uh, uh, for to, 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 to see the constraint and uh, opportunity uh, for, uh, for 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 the intervention. Uh, so uh, uh, so what uh, the uh, the motor uh, only adopt on uh, pre -anal analytical choice. Uh, like so because of uh, the, the characteristic of uh, the, the, um, the government funding in uh, Vietnam, like uh, we always start with uh, the um, the solution itself. Uh, we 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 rarely had the chance to uh, to diagnose for the system to see uh, if if uh, the, the solution fits or is there any. Uh, uh, constraint or uh, opportunity to promote uh, such uh, solution. Um, so that's uh, why I call it a pre-analytical choice. And sometimes uh, it totally uh, uh, miss its target and uh, stop at uh, like uh, on the sale of uh, uh, research. Uh, it's no, uh, has no uh, social impact. Um, the two last uh, setbacks that uh, we think uh, we need to improve is the uh, motor's uh, target uh, quantitative result and uh, has a descriptive aim. Uh, I think uh, uh, we think that uh, these two uh, um, are linked uh, together. Like uh, uh, when you describe, uh, uh, when you adopt, uh, when would we adopt a quantitative approach uh, for? Uh, uh, Social research, uh, we see that uh, there tendency towards uh, uh, reductionist way to, to look into uh, uh, the, the social system and it totally miss the complexity of the system. Like uh, we want to uh, to narrow down the scope of the research to some uh, some major dimension, but uh, the social system and uh, the agricultural system is uh, very complex. You see uh, a net uh, uh, of actor, everyone of them uh, has a role and a relation and the, these activity are bound by some uh, rules, uh, informal or formal. So uh, a reduction is why uh, uh, promotes by uh, uh, quantitative approach. Uh, to, uh, sometimes it's totally miss uh, this uh, complexity. Uh, and lastly, it's have a discrete aim, like uh, it will, uh, it aim at uh, uh, describe uh, what uh, what the system is. Uh, it's not uh, start with the Western line how the system should be. Uh, that's why uh, we, uh, 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 and a lot of time it, it missed uh, the, 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 norm, the normative concern about uh, uh, the, the, the the transformation that uh, we mentioned uh, uh, previously. Uh, so uh, our um, suggestion uh, for um, redesign the motor uh, and which uh, we are also working on now, um, made it better uh, to address uh, these uh, uh, disadvantages. Uh, like uh, we propose that uh, the motor should uh, has a uh, uh, should target a multi actor. Uh, and uh, firstly, uh, uh, it should uh, based on the un understanding uh, the system in a systemic way uh, to realize uh, the enabling condition for uh, to, to design uh, in intervention to promote uh, the uh, sustainable and just uh, transformation. And uh, it should have. Uh, it should start with a uh, descriptive M rather than descriptive. Uh, like uh, uh, to address the, the normative uh, concern of uh, this transformation, like uh, the, the normative about uh, concern about the inequality and uh, environmental cost of uh, the transformation. So, uh, um, we uh, mentioned a lot about the normative uh, concern of uh, transformation, and this, this slide uh, uh, explains uh, uh, our idea uh, explicitly. Uh, 
there are two major concerns about the transformation, uh, including uh, the social distribution of, uh, the, of the, the transformation. Is it uh, uh, distributed uh, equally? Uh, or somebody else uh, was marginalized by uh, this uh, transform transformation policy? And, uh, and secondly, it's about uh, the distribution of uh, externality uh, of uh, the, the transformation. Like, uh, is anyone uh, has to pay for the transformation? Anyone has to pay so that uh, somebody uh, can gain from the transformation? Uh, so we suggest that uh, any uh, research into agricultural uh, of uh, agricultural transformation should start with uh, the two normative questions, uh, like uh, who benefit from uh, the transformation and who pay for that. Uh, and uh, by asking uh, these uh, normative questions, uh, we uh, we can address uh, 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 we, we, uh, uh, we can address uh, the, the 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 concern about uh, just uh, transformation transformation that. Uh, um, benefit for everyone, not uh, marginalize uh, and, and anyone. Uh, so the last slide uh, is some uh, some idea for well we're gonna working on to to redesign the the, the motor so that it can promote uh, it can uh, analyze uh, and uh, promote uh, the the, the uh, sustainable and just uh, transformation in agricultural sector. We uh, believe that a uh, uh, motor should uh, conduct in a step why uh, why like uh, we can uh, because the social system is too complex uh, you cannot start with uh, 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 an operational framework and uh, to design Western and go out there to collect quantitative data and come up with some uh, uh, conclusion but it's totally miss the context. So uh, a stepwise approach uh, combining between uh, qualitative and uh, uh, quantitative is uh, a better way to to compre comprehend uh, see uh, comprehend uh, uh, to to understand uh, the, 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 the on one side to explore the complexity of the system uh, and uh, to uh, uh, and uh, and uh, so uh, the the. The key uh, point is uh, the most important uh, step. Uh, like, uh, uh, like you have to diagnose uh, the system uh, first. Uh, to, uh, to on uh, firstly to understand the complexity of the system, and uh, secondly to to understand the the endoplin condition, so that uh, our design of intervention. Uh, can uh, fit uh, better to the, to the context. Uh, and lastly, uh, we uh, uh, so the, the motor now is no has no mechanism for uh, reflexive uh, analysis. Uh, we 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 can uh, we can have uh, the the the, the an, uh, graphs and understanding about how the system is, but uh, we don't have, have no mechanism to see how the dynamic of the system, how it changed over time, and uh, what's the difference between group. And uh, here we uh, propose that uh, uh, to combine the the the, um, the final data analysis and uh, randomized control uh, for uh, to reflect the evaluation of uh, the design intervention. So. Uh, this is uh, some uh, of uh, uh, this is a brief film of uh, what we are doing now. Uh, more will come in, uh, I think, uh, later. And uh, there's some uh, key reference that uh, we use for this uh, presentation uh, about uh, agricultural innovation system. And uh, uh, so my uh, college uh, will present uh, uh, the the the, uh, the improved motor framework. Uh, so if, if if you have any question, uh, maybe uh, we can uh, start uh, after the presentation. So uh, are you here? Uh, yeah, thank you. So I will say my ring now. Yeah. 
Yes. <clears throat> if there are any immediate short questions for Luan, um, then maybe we can deal with them now before two is continuing. No, then I would say uh, to please, uh, please continue. Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Minh Tu from ICAD. And uh, if you hear um, the presentation of Minh uh, Tu, look, uh, that in the MUTA, we are looking at the environmental context in analyzing the transformation and the adoption of uh, and innovation. And uh, the reason why uh, uh, the team of uh, ICAD uh, uh, doing to improve the MOTA uh, in, uh, in the sense that we want to improve the uh, application of the MOTA in, uh, in adoption of innovation in the, in the Mekong Delta. And uh, this is the, the, the RAM work developed by uh, Dr. Ben, uh, one of our research team uh, in, uh, uh, in Vietnam. And uh, in his uh, Bible public uh, last year, uh, he analyzed the transformation of our system in the Mekong Delta. And in his research, he, he presented to analyze the, uh, the transformation of the power system. We need to analyze the whole the value chain. Uh, that means we need to analyze the laces where the family, uh, the producer uh, uh, dimension such as uh, resource availability or knowledge attitude. And we also need to analyze the market drivers such as the input condition or the output condition. And we also need to analyze uh, the policy rival the future the lending implementation with uh, some time beyond the, the, the farming level. And uh, we are uh, lending to apply this uh, ramework into the multi ramework uh, uh, by this. And uh, as you see in the presentation of uh, Mitchell, uh, there are no uh, um, feature of uh, environmental content or the setting of uh, transformation. And the reason why Dr. Ben uh, want to uh, ask one more of the rival of transformation uh, of the 4B of chain like policy rise like a reducer uh, to the, the link between the uh, impact of adoption to uh, the trigger by acting uh, learning and feedback. Uh, that means uh, uh, the, multi, uh, the ability of the reducer will affect the perception and then affect the motivation and then it will have to an action of the rebound and, and then lead to the outcome. And uh, with the outcome, it will impact a different group and move both scale. And then uh, the impact will uh, affect uh, the horn uh, rival of transformation for some policy or right or light or reducer uh, via the learning and feedback. And uh, we aim to uh, apply this kind of uh, uh, RAM work into a case study in the coastal area of the Mekong Delta by uh, exploring the uh, transformation will rise to a stream or right rim in the coastal zone, and uh, you can see in the uh, in the uh, figure that uh, the different busway uh, from rise to right rim or stream, and uh, we apply the the, the developed framework to understand why uh, some farmer uh, sip from right to stream, and uh, some farmer uh, sip to right rim. And uh, from the transformation from rice to a right rim or stream, it also different impact on different side of farmer. And then it will affect the adoption or the rejection of a farmer in the next phase of the, the transformation. And uh, this is another approach that we want to link between the inclusion and innovation theory and uh, the multi ram work. And uh, the theory of diffusion and innovation is uh, Present by uh, Mr. Lung uh, consisting of uh, four characteristics. The first one is the innovation, the second one is communication channel, and the third one is time dimension, and the, the fourth one is a social system. And then uh, we want to ask the four uh, uh, characteristics of uh, the first innovation into the motor work that you can see uh, in the right hand of, of the figure. And uh, I will explain in more detail. Uh, the character of the theory of uh, diffusion of innovation uh, before uh, I give a contribution of this kind of uh, theory into the multi ram work. And uh, I mentioned by Roro, you, there are four uh, main elements of the diffusion of innovation. Uh, the first one is the time dimension. Uh, the second one is the innovation attribute. 
uh, the, the third one is the communication channel and the fourth one is the social system. And on of the feature will affect the adoption of uh, any innovation. And uh, uh, among the uh, feature, the uh, innovation attributes such as the relative advantage of compatibility, complexity, durability, or serviability are the, in the main factor that uh, um, influence the adoption of, of people. And uh, uh, the communication channel are also the factor affects the, the adoption of people like via mass media or interpersonal communication. And also uh, a social system which uh, we will uh, classify into the formal chapter and formal social chapter and that will uh, determine uh, which kind of adoption uh, uh, taken by the farmer for some optimal innovation decision or collective innovation decision or authority innovation decision. Uh, that means the adoption is uh, conducted or authority by the by authority. And uh, then we boost on up for the uh, feature into the, the RAM work in the right hand side. Uh, we can see in the motor RAM work, we don't have the, the social system and we don't have the communication channel. And also the link between the outcome and the trigger are also not clarified in detail. And uh, in this RAM work, um, we uh, listed on of the five characteristics of innovation they mentioned before, like relative advantages and uh, observability and so on. So it uh, will help the RAM work can be uh, um, apply more easily, but we we know which uh, kind of perception we should measure or analyze. And uh, it, uh, according to uh, the theory, uh, the relative of the characteristic of the innovation can plan for uh, 49 to 87 percent of the variant of the right of adoption of innovation. So the one of the main driver of adoption, and uh, also the social system and communication channel are very important. Especially in the in the context of Vietnam, because the dissemination of agricultural innovation involves uh, many organizations, the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, and it uh, belongs in agency and also people committee or farmer association, youth union, and women unions. And uh, uh, it's studied by uh, other scholar, the social network also play a very important role in the uh, adoption of any innovation because. It, also influence all the factors like I said to the information or markets already or subsidy and the safety net of farmer. And uh, depending on the different five adoption, the social network of uh, a person or the formal network can have the uh, important draw in the adoption. And uh, the third one that uh, we have to clarify the link between uh, the outcome the trigger because not only the uh, in the motor we analyze the impact of the adoption uh, on the trigger, but uh, we think that uh, the impact of adoption uh, could also lower on the whole system, for example, the trigger, the ability, and also the communication channel. Uh, because uh, by over time, there are more people involved or adopt the innovation, then it will affect the communication channel and also the structure of the social, and then it will uh, in turn uh, affect the adoption. And uh, this kind of uh, land for the, the right adoption over time, and why some people. Uh, after adoption, they leave uh, uh, the implementation. And uh, it is a, a soft um, presentation on uh, what we are learning to improve the motor. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you also, <clears throat> too. Um, and Luan, as you might uh, be able to see, there have been some questions post in the in the chat box um, and maybe Luan you could give an um, uh, an answer also to uh, well I, I want to say a question by uh, Joanna but uh, it is Leon of course that uh, wrote the question in the, the box so interesting ideas and concepts more fit to study agricultural transformations with all the limitations of MOTA for these types of processes, why do you still want to work with MOTA as a starting point? What is useful about MOTA for studying or monitoring or support transformations? <clears throat> so maybe it's a, it's, a, it's a question to the whole Vietnam team and maybe also uh, in a further response to the whole team of the project.
Dạ, lớn ơi, em mới em em mute. Yeah, you are mute Quân. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you want to uh, answer this go con. Like uh, yeah, yeah. uh and con you you want to answer you want to address uh, this question. You 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 can go first. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, you you can go first. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, thanks Leon. <laughs> I see. Yeah, sorry everyone. Johnny a bit difficult now in the in the uh, uh, in the station. <laughs> yeah, um yeah, thanks Leon for your question. Uh, actually we um I think we in this uh, study we still base of course on on developing uh, motor. So uh I think um what what we've been uh, working on especially over the last uh, uh last terms i think we uh we didn't have enough time to to go really more on a uh, theoretical uh, aspect uh especially uh, looking at also more um behaviors um, uh, related uh, uh uh topic and uh, i think in this one uh, like Lund presented we wanted to supply more uh yeah to develop more uh insight on that at at a theoretical one what is really uh example uh behind the motivations um or appeal especially the the, the motivations and uh, at the same time, we also look at a bit uh, picture, picture as as a framework, which is two is uh, presented where we try to link uh, the motor with the um, uh, agricultural transformations and and especially the innovations uh, aspect. So because, um, for example, as you see in in some picture, we have the rice stream model, which we call it kind of. Uh, innovation is um, uh, practice in the Mekong Delta because it's uh, multiple uh, benefits. But uh, but yeah, so so how this can be linked to to the motor? Also another uh, thing that we wanted to uh, to improve. So basically, we have two key points uh, for for this from theory background, but also uh, more on framework background. Uh, which is um, linked to uh, using uh, make on as a case study yeah uh yeah so of course uh, yeah Muta we have been using and uh, yeah i think this is uh, is useful a lot yeah of course but now also um because when we we, we, we found quite some challenge when we develop the questionnaire uh, and also to really take it out as quantitative uh, methodology, uh, I mean, meta quantitative assessments. So this time we also try to use this uh, so that later we can apply some uh, quantitative uh, explanations uh, uh, using, let's say, a guy of uh, echometric, yeah, uh, echometric, yeah, uh, regression analysis, something like that, yeah. So that that what we to try to improve. Yeah, now I'm sorry that I could not explain earlier. I uh, but maybe for those who who haven't know about Mota, I think we want to apply it in all many other contexts apart from agriculture. I think if you can share with you some other difference, we do it for uh, urban flooding context, but also uh, biodiversity. Uh, yeah, so ecology also, yeah, so this is, can be applied to things, but, but we still see that uh, the, the, the insight, the theory, we still can be able to improve a bit, yeah. I think the multi-actor already is expressed by some other papers, but in some other works, uh, but this one, uh, I think last time we used more on that, uh, system uh, I mean separated actors but now we try to get more for example the papers we work with uh, Dorians we also look at it from uh, government's uh, perspective 
and uh, this and other working with with farmers. So this time we we wanted to look at it also through uh, the value chains because it seemed to be very important in in agriculture transformation. So yeah, I think maybe I just try to say a bit. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Kuhn. Uh, Luan, would you like to add something to it or can I go to a next question? Yeah, I think uh, that's enough. Okay, thank you. Because maybe uh, the, the, the next question is maybe for you or for uh, Tu as well. And I, I think I'm going to merge some of the questions inside um, the chat box, which is uh, a question in relation to uh, the, the, the communities you are working with in your research. So do you have specific communities, farming communities that you are working with. And in relation then to also the transformation and the time aspect, how long have you maybe already been working with these communities and are you tending to continue working this? And that might relate also to that aspect um, asked about the understanding of the earlier adopters and do we need to see early adoption maybe in a time scale or maybe more in a scale of the, the quantity of people taking it up how can we uh, you presented also the, the that normal uh, distribution over time of early adopts how can we uh, see that maybe in relation to transformations but maybe first part of that question is, um, with what farming communities are you working with and is this a long-term relationship uh, Continuing, yeah, uh, we start uh, our research with um, our understanding of our agricultural system in uh, the, the area we uh, we're working at, and uh, also some uh, secondary data publication. We rely on secondary data and uh, publication uh, to 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 pick uh, the the. The, the actor of uh, the system uh, that uh, we, uh, we we come to to do uh, the, our, our our research and uh, and normally uh, we uh, we want to start uh, as uh, broad uh, as possible like uh, the recent case when we go to uh, the coastal area the Mekong Delta we uh, we have uh, had interview with the uh, trader. Uh, decision maker at uh, many level, uh, provincial to uh, district level, and uh, we also uh, talk with uh, farmers, uh, uh, stream stream farmer at uh, also at um, many type of stream farmer like extensive, semi extensive, uh, intensive stream farmer, and uh, industri industrial uh, intensive stream farmer, and. Uh, the, our experience, uh, the, the the social system uh, of uh, agriculture system, the so, social system is uh, uh, very uh, diverse, uh, uh, very diverse uh, in uh, uh, stakeholder. Complex. Uh, very, very complex, uh, and uh, complex is uh, uh, another aspect. Uh, they personally, uh, they're very diverse, and uh, their relation and. Uh, and a role and relation in uh, the system uh, is very uh, complex. Uh, so uh, my under understanding uh, till now, I'm not sure if correct or not, but uh, uh, we, uh, we we should start if uh, if it's the first case, and then we just uh, should start as uh, broad uh, as possible and try to utilize uh, any uh, material available to us. Uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, the big case that uh, that I'm uh, familiar the most uh, to, to 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 us to like uh, in uh, like they say you you have to, to uh, choose a domain uh, to to act on uh, um, before uh, uh, firstly you have to choose a domain like agricultural you, you want to work on uh, sustainable agricultural what kind of uh, actor you want uh, to to work with uh, uh, how many type of farmers uh, out there you, you want to, uh, to to come to and uh, yeah my uh, my answer is uh, it's flexible yeah since I never start with uh, a fixed uh, set of uh, farmer yeah 
Thank you. Um, maybe this is uh, more. Uh, I, think I can add also a bit uh, on on the adaptation from BP. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so thanks. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, we we work, for example, the the one I mentioned, for example, on um, on the um, agriculture innovation practice, the rice stream models. It had been uh, I have. A very long time now in the Mekong Delta, but uh, uh, recently it's get more intense uh, in, in, in intentions uh, by uh, by both local and also national uh, governments. Yeah, so especially in the last I think five years, it's getting more. So there are some uh, because it's 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 really a multiple benefits. Uh, a solution and also highly uh, resilient to um, to the climate change. Uh, but uh, in the case we are working now in the Binche province, it's, it's going good, but now it's, it's getting again like going down because uh, uh, people seeing it's not really bring enough benefits for them. So they more, for example, changing to intensive stream farming so so that if you see in the in the picture of Lund about uh, the development of innovation so it's going up but then it's going down but there are quite some constraints with the uh, uh, political agenda so institutions uh, related aspect uh, i think it's you think it's really um uh, really interesting yeah and also, we also like to have more on the cultural, uh, yeah, things which is um, cultural, but also a kind of values, which is, uh, for example, this some this kind of um, practice can also reduce uh, carbon emission, but it's not yet payment. So if we can include this, and if we can get more payable. Uh, solution meaning the farmer can get better income than they may have for this uh, transformation process. Yeah, so it, 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 no. do you want to add some more? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I have a, a follow up question mm -hmm. to what you have um, mentioned. Thank you, uh, uh, Kuhn and Luan. Um, and it relates maybe to an earlier question um, by uh, Marissa in, uh, in the chat box. Um, and that's maybe also, it's a bit more about the, 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 the feedback given from populations, but maybe also then in relation to what you mentioned, eh? so some of these transformations in rice shrimp farming, you see that they are now maybe developing towards more intensive. What is then your position as um, a research team um, also in feeding that information from the field, maybe back to the, uh, the policy um, domain and how maybe things could be steered towards more sustainable uh, transformations. Yeah, uh, maybe I ask some of my idea about the the time of uh, the the kind of transformation we make on that. And I think the 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 chain from rice to a uh, rice stream stream uh, has been like in the make on that like. 1990s, like several decades ago, and uh, it's a, a continuous process. That means uh, first, uh, it's happened in a few uh, community in the coastal zone, and then uh, because the effect of solidity intrusion or other factor, uh, the area which change to right rim or rim have been uh, shipped further inland. For example, the, the farmer in the coastal zone first they adopted right rim or stream, and then uh, later on, uh, the community inside in the uh, Duporai or Chiporai zone. And um, I think there are some kind of feedback uh, between the adoption of, of this kind of, of chain. For some of the uh, farmers in the, in the, in the Koto Yon, they see from uh, um, rice to a uh, rice rim or stream, then uh, the salinity juice will be leaked into the Duporai field, or then the farmer in the nearby community have to change or something like this. And uh, 
uh, for the, the version on the, the time scale, I think uh, we can see a little in the figure uh, presented by uh, Mr. Lung that uh, for the first 50% of the people in the community, uh, the rate of adoption will be increased over time. But then the rate of adoption will be decreased over time because there are no uh, remaining adopters in the community for adoption anymore. And uh, usually for the 2% of the people who adopted in the community, we call the uh, innovator. And then we had early adopter for 14% of the uh, population. And then we have the uh, early adoption and late adoption and last year who are the person who did not apply or something. And it, it can be blamed by the ASAP call in, 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 in top adoption. We have the right person agree over time until 50% and then it agree over time. I was uh, reminded by Leo that I was muted and that took me extra time to realize that I was muted. Thank you, uh, Tu. Thank you, Luan. Thank you, uh, Guan. Thank you, Vietnam team. I'm looking at uh, the clock. It's almost uh, 2 p.m. Uh, Central European summertime. That means that we are uh, towards the end of um, this first webinar. I found it very interesting. Thank you. I would like to give uh, the floor to Anamika, our project leader in this case, to, to give maybe some of her final insights first before we close this first webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Yap. And uh, thank you to the Vietnam team for this very interesting presentation and um, very happy that you took the initiative now that the ball is rolling we hope that many more will come up and fill up the form uh, thank you Yap and your team as well for taking this up and uh, let's hope that this continues um, we will meet in this week sometime soon the mail will be sent out for the you know monthly meeting we can decide how often we want to do these uh, webinars but for now, thank you very much. And uh, we look forward to listening to others as well and uh, for sharing this very interesting framework, uh, Vietnam team. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Anamika. And uh, indeed, as you have said, it was uh, pasted in the chat box by uh, Leon. Um, if you want to share your, your knowledge, your work, um, any interesting ideas into a webinar, uh, you can find the Google Docs form link in the chat box. Uh, I will paste uh, Leon's message again. So it's at the bottom. Have I done it? No, I have not. Well, uh, we will also share it I, again, I think by mail, but um, please share, submit your ideas to be able to further organize these webinar sessions. Thank you very much. Uh Yep, can you please save also the, the, the chat? Because I cannot do it, but uh, we can look at because we cannot address all the questions. Uh, yeah, so we yes. will look at it and discuss with our team. Yes, we will. Um, mm -hmm. Then I give the final, final words to the person that opened this meeting, and that is Leon. Oh, that's nice. Then, well, then, then just uh, thank you all, everyone. I think I have nothing more to add to all the other closing words, but it was really nice to see uh, uh, not just the interesting presentation on, on the MOTA and, and the new thoughts about how it applies to transformations. I think there is uh, further further challenges ahead there, but, but very interesting. But actually also for everyone uh, uh, joining us, um, in including i think uh, even uh, in er in the very early hours from mexico but uh, that is assuming that that is where marisa is so that is very much appreciated and hope to see you all soon for a project meeting but also for the for the next webinar and thanks yap for uh, the nice facilitation i'll stop the recording bye